Hey besties, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, I wanna to talk with you about the portfolio of five ETFs that I've been investing in so far this year. And I wanna show you how it's performing because it's kind of exciting. There's some stuff that I really hadn't expected and it's a nice surprise and I wanna share with you how I've set up this ETF portfolio and how it's working so far this year. Now, what really struck me, I'm gonna tell you, it was Friday afternoon, I checked the stock market and then I checked my five ETFs and I was really kind of a little bit amazed and a little bit, I don't know what the word is, happy? How about that? I'll go with happy that my portfolio is doing as well as it is. Now, I'll just, for an overview, my portfolio is beating the market very slightly. It's 7.66% year to date, and the S&P 500 is 6.92%. It's a very small edge, but I'll take it. Anyways, what I noticed was the stock market kind of got hit, especially the tech names, a lot of the growth tech names that I have been following. Even though the market was pretty negative, I took a look at my portfolio of ETFs and I noticed that out of the five of them, only three of them were down. There were actually two ETFs, two, count them, that were in positive territory. And they were both more, I would say, value oriented. One of them is the Vanguard Value ETF and the other one is Vanguard Healthcare. And you know, both of these ETFs are flotation device in these choppy waters. When the plane goes down, when there's a crash landing, you don't wanna to have to worry about your portfolio totally going underwater. So what I did was I chose a couple of ETFs that are comprised of companies that I believe will weather the storm better than others. I really like the Vanguard Value ETF, VTV, I looked at the number one holding, which was Berkshire Hathaway. And I just really like knowing that each month, at the start of the month, when I buy these ETFs, I am buying a small piece of Berkshire Hathaway. I'm actually becoming a larger and larger owner of this business. And that's what I wanna share with you guys today. This is really important stuff. This is, I think, if you could take one thing from this video, when you, buy, when you buy shares of an ETF or when you buy shares of a stock, instead of thinking about it is I own stock or I own ETF, think of it this way. I am buying a business, okay? I think this is really useful. Think of whenever you take money from your brokerage and make a purchase that you are buying parts of businesses. And what I really like about, for example, the Vanguard Information Technology ETF, that's VGT, is the number one holding is Apple, and the number two holding is Microsoft, and last I checked, the number three holding is Nvidia. So I know if it were up to me to decide every month which stocks to buy, I would probably like, you know, ham and haw and dawdle and not do anything. So I like the fact that when I buy VGT, I own a part of Apple business. I'm purchasing a part of that company. It may be a very small sliver of a slice, but I'm buying Apple. I'm also buying Microsoft. Chat GPT, anybody? And so when you buy Microsoft, when you buy Apple, when you buy Nvidia, you become a part owner in these businesses. And I just wanna share that with you. So if you talk too much or think too much about owning stocks, you're kind of following those things that, you know, jump around all day long, red, green, you know, following the line. But if you can get your way, get yourself away from that way of thinking about a stock as something that moves around all day and you try to buy it here and sell it there and all that trading stuff. And you just think, I am buying a part of these businesses and I'm gonna hold these for five years, for 10 years, for whatever. I think that will make you a much better investor. So um, yeah, there's not a lot really to recap here. I just, I like to look at this ETF portfolio periodically just to share with you guys how it's going. It's a small edge over the S&P 500, but I know how hard it is to beat the stock market. And I'm not 
in any kind of a delusion here that this is going to continue for the rest of the year. But I believe that if I could beat the market by 2%, that would be a phenomenal result because over long periods of time, small increments, like even 1%, beating the market over 20 years or 30 years can turn into a lot of money. So I'm aiming for any kind of outperformance. If I could do 2%, that would be awesome. If I could outperform the market this year by 5%, that would be, be a long shot to have that kind of outperformance. But I believe it could happen, and I think this portfolio is different enough from the S&P. Two of the ETFs, the best performing, actually the number one is VGT still, and that's the one that owns Apple, Microsoft, and Nvidia. And then the number two and three spots are the small cap ETFs. One is AVUV, which is the Avantis US Small Cap Value ETF, and the number three position, best performer, is VB, which is the uh, Vanguard Small Cap ETF. And the two that are kind of bringing up the rear in this portfolio, which are the Vanguard Value ETF, VTV, and Vanguard Healthcare, which is VHT. Those two, I love having them in the portfolio. I'll tell you this, they're both you know, up maybe like 1% or 2% this year, which is you know not a great performance relative to the market. But I like the fact that the prices have not gone up so far this year because all these other tech stocks and all have just jumped so far. But I like the fact that with this particular, these two ETFs, the prices are low because each month when I buy my shares, they're gonna be cheaper than the ones that have gone up and become pricier. And it's kind of counterintuitive to think about investing this way where you want your stocks or your ETFs to be down or cheap. But since I'm buying, and I'm gonna be buying every month this year, the lower the share prices are when I purchase these, um, the more parts or pieces of businesses I'm going to be purchasing every month. So, hey, you guys have any questions, any opinions or ideas you would like to share? Put them in the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. It kind of closes the loop, you know, closes the circle, makes it more of a dialogue than just me doing the monologue. So write anything down below like, hey, I invest in this ETF or hey, do a video about this or whatever you're thinking. Just share it with me because um, the best part of doing YouTube videos really is hearing from you guys and knowing what you guys think. And also if you put stuff down below, kind of a dream I have, I know it's a dream, but in the future I would love it if you guys have like conversations with each other in the comment section, you know, like reply to each other's comments and, and I can maybe chime in if I have anything to add, but uh, ultimately I would like this channel to be a place where smart, people, intelligent investors who like to learn and share their wisdom can do so like right in the comment section. And um, that way we can all learn something every day. I'm really happy you stopped by. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and then you will get a heads up whenever I make another video.